Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm currently walking along the canal towards Bramble. I've just been out and I'm going to go into this big Sainsbury's and grab some provisions. This is a stop and shop um, mooring that you can have four hours at, the bollards down there. Um, so you can grab your shopping and then get on your way. I've done my little shop now so off I walk to Bramble. we're back on board. Um, so I'm going to carry on moving along the Grand Union Canal at Paddington Arm, um, probably get to Wilsdon Junction area. Um, if you've seen my last video I stopped in Kensal Green and it's time to move on so that's what I'll be doing. I'm down here in the engine bay, I haven't got much grease left so I'll fill that up now before I leave. There's a plastic covering on the inside with a hole in the middle and you can just push that down and twist this so that the, the level of the grease goes up as you push down. Um, so yeah, it's quite quite nifty little uh, way of doing it. And that's the grease I'm using. There we go, I've just neatened it off and flattened it off with a knife uh, to minimise air pockets and to make sure it's properly full. And now I'll just screw it back on down here. As I mentioned in the last video, it's uh, it's a good thing to check your oil and coolant levels as well as the grease that I've just topped up. Um, so I'm just going to check the oil level now and uh, see if I need to top up any coolant. I shouldn't need to because I did it all last time. Yeah, I don't think it was all the way down before. Uh, I just pushed it down a bit further and it's uh, right in the middle, so that's great. And that's fine too. Um, I did a, um, a one day um, course when I was still a bit new to Bramble um, and the lady who I did it with said that if you can just get your first, the first part of your index finger in there and be touching the coolant you're fine. And it's a good idea just to double check that you've got all the lids on properly as well. So now that the steps are put back together, I'm going to start uh, getting ready to go. So now that I'm wrapped up and the engine's warming up, I am going to try and find a way to weigh down the tripod so that I can take a nice time lapse. Um, I've had quite a few comments asking for more um, cruising footage so I'm going to try and do that now. Um, I've got lots of spent batteries and I'm thinking if I can find a sock and wrap it around the base that should be enough. But um, I'm aware that a, a bit of a breeze has kicked up. So I found a better solution to weigh my tripod down using two of the logs I cut last time. I've still not used them. And uh, I'll just extend the tripod there. And hopefully that will be enough to stop my tripod and phone blowing over. So now I'm gonna move the Christmas tree out of the way and uh, head off. You might have seen the boat jolt a bit there when I stepped off, um, when I stepped on rather. Uh, that's because there's a ledge right under where I'm moored and uh, the underside keeps, keeps getting caught on the uh, side of it and someone asked um, last time why I was moored in two boat spaces uh, right in the middle of where another small boat could have got in and that's why because um, it's the best place uh, to not get too caught up the other side was a bit too shallow so I parked right in the middle
So I've gone to stop a couple of times as you might see in the time lapse um, and it's just too um, shallow on the edges and there's a few ledges and I really want to minimise oh there's a boat coming I'm going to get out of the way. Uh, I really want to minimise um, erosion uh, from rubbing against ledges and, and shallow ground so I'm, uh, I'm going to try my best to find another place um, that's a bit more uh, safe for the hull. I'm just letting this boat pass now, it's just gone under a bridge. Cheers. Hey, your boat turns so quickly. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> he just mentioned that um, Bramble turns very quickly, uh, and it's true. Uh, she's very nimble. Being so short has its advantages. I'm now roughly where I want to be, so I, as I said, I've looked for a couple of spots, so I'm going to sh stop shortly wherever I can. So I just saw another boater who's been on cruising the cut recently, um, a couple of episodes after Bramble and I were on, uh, so that was quite nice. Ah, that was a nice cruise, no problems. Um, there was a bit of a breeze for the first half, but um, after that it's quite nice. It's a bit sheltered here because it's uh, in a bit of a bank. Um, so yeah, nice quiet space apart from the rail railroad that is uh, a few hundred meters that way but um, because I'm low down it shouldn't affect me too much. In next week's episode I'm going to feature this tiny portable barbecue that was gifted to me for Christmas. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. If you've enjoyed this episode feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe.